everybody, this is Dr. Rick Hellman. Hey, you know what? I was um, just about to leave my office. It's Friday night. I'm ready to go home and see my family. But I was so, so like um, very upset, I guess upset is a good word. Um, I've had several patients today um, with actually with thyroid conditions. Um, some new, some people who we've been working with for a while. And um, I just had something on my heart that I just needed to share. Okay, so I, I, before I left, I'm like, I have to do this because, you know, um, I grew up in the 70s, 80s, and so I had the old school cartoons like Bugs Bunny and Looney Tunes. And today I felt like Yosemite Sam. You know, when like Yosemite Sam was like, Bugs Bunny frustrated him so, so stinking bad that he was like, ooh, rabbit, his whole head got red, sweats flying off. That's the way I felt today, right? And, uh, you know, as far as the, the title, it said Thyroid Mess Revealed. Because one of the biggest issues that we have right now in healthcare, biggest problems um, are thyroid conditions, 20 million plus, right? And from what I've, from my experience with all the patients I work with, number one, it's misunderstood. Number two, it's misdiagnosed or not tested properly. And then three, it's completely mistreated. Right, so what is the thyroid gland? So the thyroid gland is, is a squishy gland right here in the middle of the neck. Okay, it is the master control system for the hormones, for all the endocrine system. Uh, it, it regulates body temperature. It um, stabilizes glucose. It's, it houses a uh, hormone, a thyroid hormone. Actually, it's the only gland, um, I believe, that even stores hormone, but it releases hormone to every cell of your body. So literally every cell of your body gets the thyroid hormone. And if it gets to the cell and gets in the cell, it can actually bring the cell to life. It does work in energy. And so really what ends up happening is if um, the system, right, all the systems that connect to the thyroid that support the thyroid and the thyroid itself, if it all works, then the body works great. It's healthy, it's happy. Right, but if the thyroid gets stressed, if it doesn't, if it uh, gets sluggish, or the thyroid hormone doesn't get out, or if it doesn't get converted properly from an inactive to active form, and if it doesn't get to the cell and actually get inside the cell, then what ends up happening is people feel cold, right? Body temperature gets off, people start to gain weight. Their nails get bad, their skin gets dry, they get constipated, they are lethargic, they have no energy, right? They have brain fog, right? So there's all these people out there that are suffering from thyroid problems. <laughs> you know, I've, I'm, I'm flying solo, so I have no idea. Um, I can't see the screen because I've got it pointed at me. But I tell you, if you're out there watching, Hopefully you're out there watching and you're, you're saying, hey, I have a thyroid problem or I need, or I know someone has a thyroid problem, like share it, um, tell some friends, this is a Facebook Live, so it'll get posted, so make sure you have friends that watch this because we're gonna unveil some myths. And you know what, I'm gonna do four myths in four days, right? But today I'm starting off with the, the number one, but we're gonna go four days in a row. It's too long to do them all. It'll take all night. But I'm just going to try to do short blocks, address one myth each day. And it's going to help you understand your thyroid better. It's going to see uh, maybe if you've been misdiagnosed. And then it will also give you hope if you're somebody that has those problems. You know, once again, you have the body temperature. See, it controls body temperature. And one of the biggest things about that is it releases the, the hormone that controls the body temperature. If the body temperature gets off just a little bit, that temperature, temperature is everything in the body. All of our um, chemical reactions have to be within a certain temperature to perform the way they're supposed to. So if the body temperature gets off, all the systems start to break down. It's very, very bad. And so that's number one, it's really, really important to have that. And then also it powers up the cell. So once again, Brain fog, uh, cold, bad hair, dry skin, bad nails, fatigue, weight gain, bloating, constipation, right? So like, if that's you, just put it in the chat, that's me. That's me. Um, one of the biggest things 
that I'm saying, number one myth, is that the diagnosis for a thyroid problem is just on a hormone called TSH, okay? So TSH is not even a thyroid hormone, it's a brain hormone. But, but the medical system, the standard of care right now, will run labs, will run a blood lab, they'll run TSH, which is a brain hormone. And the reason why they run that is because if um, your, your, brain, your brain talks to the rest of the body, all the periphery of the body, and it knows what's going on in the blood through the intelligence of the body, and it feeds information back to the brain, and the brain knows, part of the brain knows, um, hey, is there enough thyroid hormone going into the blood, into the body? Okay, if there is, then that TSH will be normal, be within normal range. If there's not enough hormone in the blood, then the TSH will go up. So what ends up having the brain will secrete TSH more of it because the, the brain is trying to get the thyroid to work, so it stimulates the hormone. So TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, will be higher. So they'll say, hey, we need to give the body more T3 or T4, right? Thyroid hormone. So the only way you're going to get diagnosed by standard of care, gold standard of care, which is TSH, is if the TSH is high, then they'll, okay, uh, what's the next step? Well, um, first of all, standard of care says, well, I can only test for something that I have a drug for or unless there's a surgery for it. So what ends up happening if TSH is off, right? So the brain is seeing, hey, there's not, not enough uh, thyroid hormone and the blood it doesn't really matter what caused that or what triggered there not to be enough thyroid hormone in the blood. But they say, okay, we're gonna give you thyroid hormone. Okay, well that, that might be okay, except for that's not the only reason why the thyroid, it's, that's not gonna be the, the answer for the condition, right? There could be thousands of reasons why that is not, um, that the body doesn't have enough um, um, you know, thyroid hormone, right? So here's the thing, all those things, all those symptoms are coming from multiple um, different sources. So I don't know whether you're gonna be able to see this, but you have the brain, you have the thyroid, you have the liver, you have the gut, intestines, right? And then you have the cell, okay? So they're measuring TSH, okay? And they're basing all the thyroid diagnosis off this. So they feel like, you know what? We'll give them some thyroid hormone, and if this levels out, then you're okay. But here's the problem. And I know many of you are watching this going, well, you know, my TSH was off and they gave me thyroid hormone, but you know what? The TSH balanced, but then guess what? I feel still feel terrible. I'm still tired. My body still aches. I'm still cold. I still have constipation. I'm getting good. You know what? I'm eating less than the people around me. Like I'm eating salad. They're eating burgers, drinking beer, and they're they're doing well. But I mean, I'm doing everything perfect. I'm actually running on the treadmill, but I'm still gaining weight. Why is that? And and you're being told that your thyroid is normal because they've leveled out your heart, the 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 blood lab, right? But there's multiple things going. Now I'm going to tell you right now that ninety percent of these thyroid conditions are autoimmune, which means there's an irritation in the gut, a leaky gut, and it will send an immune response to the thyroid and it will start attacking the thyroid so the thyroid will get sluggish. So you can give all the hormone you want, but if there's a problem in the GI, if there's an infection, if there's leaky gut, there's sugar allergies, it will cause an autoimmune reaction and then it will go undetected, right? And so even though your labs might be normal, you still feel terrible. 90% are undiagnosed or misdiagnosed, right? And then the, the, if the thyroid hormone is coming out, it still has to go into the different parts of the body, especially the liver, to get converted, and then it has to get to the cell. It gets converted other places in the body, but it has to get to the cell and then let's just close the C and make it a cell membrane, right? And it has to get inside the cell to do actually bring up energy. So the brain has to talk to the thyroid. 
the thyroid has to to make the hormone, get rid of the hormone, has to get converted, and has to get to the cell. And also, if there's inflammation in the body, if there's inflammation in the cell, that hormone can't get into the cell, so there'll be really bad energy, so the, the, the actual hormone can't even get into the cell to do its job because there's internal inflammation. So if there's inflammation around your body and the cells, your hormone can't even get into the cell. This is not getting measured. This is not being looked at. This is being looked at improperly, and they're just looking at this. So most people are running around with very, very um, horrible symptoms of thyroid, and they're just taking medications. Now, um, one of the things that really, really set me off today, I mean, really set me off. So um, around where I am, this area in Charlotte, um, I'm not going to go into it, but there's the... The, the, the system is very, very entrenched. And you walk in, you get the labs, um, and then you get meds. And a lot of times people, this is an area where people come from out of town. So a lot of people move from other areas, whether for its job or the weather's nice, so they're coming down. And uh, I had a patient uh, today that actually had moved here and they're on more of a natural form of thyroid uh, medication. As soon as they got here, their doctor took them off of that and put them on a synthetic version of it. Now, this is not from Dr. Helma, but this is actual um, information off the actual drugs website, off of Synthroid. So these are the side effects of Synthroid. Fever, hot flashes, sensitivity to heat, sweating, headache, nervousness, irritability, nausea, sleep problems, insomnia, changes in appetite, changes in weight, temporary hair loss right so all of these things like weren't even happening with this patient they were struggling but they took them off the natural one put them on the synthetic one and then almost all these things were going on i'm like you you moved here your doctor took you off one put you on a synthetic one and then your life got worse my head almost exploded and so we talked about you know the, the importance of that now Here's the thing, um, that, that's a huge thing. So to the, the, like the number one myth that we're covering today is number one, TSH is not, it's, act, it's being portrayed as a gold standard, but it's such a small piece. So people are getting tested incompletely. They're not looking at the biggest problem, which is typically autoimmune. And then they're saying you have to be on medication for life. And it's just not true, it doesn't have to happen. now. In some cases, if the thyroid's been removed or damaged or radiated, then you probably will have to be on some form of thyroid medication. However, if not, there's a real good chance that your body can get back in balance. So if we work on removing the stressors to the gut, get the liver functioning better, bring down inflammation in the body, then your body can recover. And you don't have to have all those temp crazy temperature problems the, the weight issues, the fatigue, the brain fog. So those things can literally change. They can change. So that's what drives me crazy. And then like that was one, uh, one patient and then even maybe like an hour and a half later I had another patient who had been diagnosed with Graves' disease, which is very difficult, autoimmune the thyroid. And we were celebrating, we we're high-fiving because her, her, not only were her labs normal now after working with her, but she had much better energy. She was, you know, she used to get sick all the time. She's not getting sick all the time now. Um, much more clear. Life is completely turned around, right? And she's coming off medications. She's like, I'm not, I'm no longer in this category. So, on one hand, you have, pe you have people that are getting misdiagnosed, taking medications that are causing the same problems that, that people are taking the medication for in the first place, but then, you have on the other hand, where we get in and we look at the whole picture, more holistic picture, and then actually start to fix this problem, right? So if this is you, if you're somebody that has been, um, that you've been told that your, your labs are normal, there must be nothing wrong with you, it's gotta be in your head, maybe you need some anti-psychotic medication, anti-anxiety drugs, which happens all the time, right? And you go into a deeper, darker hole, right? If that's you, then, yeah, you need to get a different approach, right? You need to get someone else to look at your case. Maybe see it all day long in office. We have amazing success with these things, but we have the reason why is we think differently and we take a different approach. 
So, as I hope you enjoyed this, please like our page. Like our page, make a comment. Uh, make a comment in, in the chat. Um, if you comment, we'll make sure that we get you an invitation out um, to, to the workshops that we do. Actually, I'm doing four myths in four, in four days. Because in four days, Tuesday, December 4th at 6.30 here at our office here in Fort Mill, South Carolina. It's right off exit 85, right off Interstate 77. Very easy to get to. We're going to do an in-house seminar. We're going to be going over this and the other myths in detail. We're going to talk about how, um, how to understand your thyroid and how, how to actually get this back in balance. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have a great time. Great people are going to be there. Well, actually, you can click on the link. I, I put the Eventbrite link here. Like, on, the, on the, the Facebook Live post, you can do it there. You can click on it, you can get on Eventbrite. We have limited seating, literally, you know, we only have like 15 or 16 people in the space that we're doing it in, and we already have like eight signed up, so there's a few spaces left. Please click and sign up, share. Now, I wanna, I wanna say this, I wanna put this out there as well. So if you're, if you're not in the area, and you're interested in, in um, attending a seminar, I will put a webinar. So if enough people come in, click and say, hey, I want to, I'm out of town. I want to get this information on the thyroid. I want to learn more. I will put a webinar together for you and we will do it. We'll do a virtual webinar on this because it's so important. I need to get this information out there, okay? So send it to a friend. You don't have to suffer anymore. A lot of this is myth. We're gonna uncover it. We're gonna teach you, and we're gonna look. We're gonna talk more about how to get this back, um, this this thyroid condition taken care of, right? And uh, like I said, share with friends, like our page, so we can stay in contact with you. We can send you more information. But yeah, do that. Um, thank you for the people that have come in and and have, um, and and listened, and maybe even you know liked and shared. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm on this end, so I can't really see and interact with you guys. But I appreciate everybody showing up. I want you all to have a great Friday night. I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm not sure what time. We're going to go over another myth. And we're going to address those things. We're going to be just as fired up because I can't believe what came into my office today. What, what, the, the one, on one side, it's a miracle. On the other side, it's like, ah, pull my hair out. I see it all the time. It's crazy. Anyway, you guys have a great Friday night. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of your weekend and, and be looking for us tomorrow because we're gonna come with a different angle with it tomorrow. We're gonna cover um, probably like the medications and do you need to be on medications for the rest of your life um, if you have a thyroid issue? And then the, the a, a lot more to do with that. So have a great night, have a great weekend and we'll see you. Wanna to come to the seminar if you're in this area, click on Eventbrite, share with your friends, Let's get this place packed. Let's solve some problems. Bless you all.